Hey students, this week for science, let's talk about renewable solar energy. So believe it or not, solar energy has been around for a long time. This picture shows all the way back in 1906, this house using a solar panel to heat water. When it comes to solar energy, we have two main categories, solar thermal, which is used to heat water and for cooking, and solar voltic or PV, which is used for electricity production. And we can see in these two pictures, two solar thermal devices, one used for cooking and one used for heating water. Here's a diagram demonstrating a solar heating panel and how it works. We have the sunlight being absorbed on the solar heating panel. That heats up a coil inside a water tank, which allows for hot water. Here's another example of solar water heating. Here we have the water flowing through a tube and the heat from the sun heating up this pipe, which allows it when it comes out the outlet to be warm or hot water. And believe it or not, solar cooking is common in many parts around the world. And there are many benefits to doing this. It consumes no fuel or wood, so there's no loss of trees or habitat. And trees produce a lot of carbon when they're burned. It generates no pollution, no greenhouse gases, so it's a very clean energy. It also produces no smoke. And believe it or not, there's statistics that show that just cooking smoke kills a good number of people every year when they breathe in the smoke fumes constantly and it hurts their lungs. It also eliminates fire danger because nothing is being burned. All that is used is the rays of the sun to cook. So how long does it take to solar cook? Well, it takes longer than using fire or a stove. As you can see here, it takes a few hours for these types of foods. They're placed in these reflective containers, which harness the rays of the sun and produce heat that cooks the food. So the second way solar energy is used is by photovoltaic systems that convert light energy directly into electricity. And they're commonly known as solar cells. The simplest systems power small calculators that we use every day. More complicated systems will provide a large portion of electricity in the near future. PV represents one of the most promising means of maintaining our energy intensive standard of living while not contributing to global warming and pollution. So how do the PV systems work? Well, sunlight is composed of photons or bundles of radiant energy. When photons strike the PV cell, they may be reflected or absorbed, transmitted through the cell. Only the absorbed photons generate electricity. When the photons are absorbed, the energy of the photon is transferred to electrons in the atoms of a solar cell. Here's a simplified diagram of a PC solar panel. The sunlight hits the top panels. Those photons are converted to electrons, which then flow through the wires up to be able to generate power. In some places, they use a centralized wind and solar hybrid system. And in the hybrid energy system, more than a single source of energy supplies the electricity. Wind and solar complement each other in a big way. When you have big fields of these solar panels, there's also room for the windmills in the same area. They both generate electricity and the hybrid system is very effective. So solar energy is a great renewable resource. Not only can it provide heat for water, it can also generate electricity and as well cook food. It doesn't cause pollution or create greenhouse gases and is a very clean source of energy. I'll be posting this video as well as practice pages for you to work on. If you'd like more information, let me know. And if you want to zoom in on this lesson, just click on the link in Schoology.